How are you today? How are you really? I can't even remember how many times I've said I'm fine knowing it was a lie. We love listening to the success stories of other people. The underdog, the story of overcoming, rags to riches, being a hero. What we don't focus on are the stories that never get told. We try so many methods of getting rid of our emotions. We isolate, distract, ignore, we cover up. We do anything to feel numb to the loneliness in our lives. I'm going to share with you moments that I've never said out loud because I too tried so hard to ignore them. The moments I was hanging with a group of friends only to realize how insignificant I was. The moments where I thought I hit rock bottom, but I found out it had a basement. The time spent in my messy room with plates and bowls stacked high everywhere, but no motivation to even get out of bed. The desperation of wanting to feel pain because it was better than the loneliness I was surrounded by. Feeling numb, like I'm not even a real person. I'm just a body with weights at my feet tying me down. These may sound familiar. These may be your stories. Hiding the truth in these often makes us feel more alone. Why can't we talk about the things we have not survived? My boss and I had a conversation a couple of months ago. I asked him for advice on how to tell my dad that I did not want him at my graduation. He then started talking about the struggling relationship with his father, how his dad was never really there, was more of a coach than an actual father. The frustration he felt wondering why he was never good enough to have a father that cared was the same desperation I felt trying to mend a relationship that was never meant to be. He then told me that he didn't even invite his father to his wedding. Not inviting your own father to one of your most memorable moments, it was the exact same situation I was going through. At that moment, I felt relieved. Like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders, I felt guilt-free. The relief of knowing that it's okay if some relationships don't always work out. The solidarity that we felt together. It was about looking up and seeing myself in someone else. We need to take the success stories that we are used to and turn them into real, raw, and authentic stories. The true experiences of loneliness, darkness, nothingness. Talking about the hidden truth in these stories is the only way to reach what we so desperately need, solidarity. We need to talk about the things we have not survived, the stories that don't always have a happy ending. That is the only way that we can gain true progress, true connection, true solidarity. Even if the only thing we have to gain is each other, that is enough because it shows the one thing that we are constantly forgetting, that we are human. Thank you.